Hey, what's up guys, VMeg here, and today I want to go on ahead and I wanted to show you guys a quick little tutorial on how to play Sonic Generations or any Steam application that forces you to run it in full screen. I want to show you guys how to run that game in windowed mode, but today's video will be specifically about Sonic Generations, of course. So, first things first, you're going to want to grab any kind of software which can open up uh, exe or not exe's like you know zipped up files so for example I use winrar completely free or you can use 7-zip is another good option some of my friends use so I just wanted to start with that so I will have links to all these things I'm going to show in the video in the description down below so you guys can follow along with this tutorial once you have something like that you are going to want to go on ahead and run somewhere like um there's this place that's called dxwnd so DXWND is a wonderful website where you can find this application. So the, the website's called SourceForge, but the actual thing here is called DXWND. With DXWND here, you're going to want to download this, and this will allow you to run any window in any size that you'd like. So once you download it, like I have here, you're going to want to open that. So now that it's open, you're going to see a bunch of stuff here, right? Don't, don't worry, none of this is really important. I'm gonna close this because I already have it. So now that we have it downloaded, you're gonna wanna open the folder once it's extracted, of course. And then you're gonna wanna look through all these files. You don't need to touch anything really except this w, uh, DXWND file. When you open that, you will see a little window thing like this show up. Here, I have Song Generations ready in there, but we're gonna delete it for the sake of deleting it for the moment. So now that we have that in there, what we're gonna wanna do is first show off an example. So Sonic Generations is normally a game which forces you to run the game in windowed mode. Now, I had, um, you know, I forget to configure things around and stuff, but it's no worries. As you can see, we set up the configuration. There we go. Input, save, and quit. There you go. So my bad on that one, guys. So all we want to do here is boot up the game, and the game should be running normally. You know, you'll see the game. Um, it runs fine. Obviously, I don't really have any issues with this game typically as I just normally play modern Sonic I don't really play classic. But that's not the point of the video. So I want to just quickly show off You know, we have the game running oh, my voice crack. We have the game running and as you can see the game looks fine and Yeah, you know the game looks normal whatever and yeah So no, but that's not the point you guys um, some of you probably have a low-end PC on like um some most people probably don't have a good crazy PC that can run gens, you know, consistently well, and so they want to try to find alternate ways to run the game so that it can run in windowed mode, which would make it run a lot better. Because I don't know, I, I think that's just how PCs work. I don't even know. Point is, we're gonna quickly close out of the game, so we're gonna quickly do that. So we're gonna close out of the game, and now I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually use DXWD here, how to run the game in windowed mode. So all you want to do here is press edit. You're going to want to press add. So I'm assuming you have the program opened. So now you want to go to uh, path. Okay. This is the one you want to press path. You're going to want to press here. Now you're going to want to go to your uh, C drive, your program files, scroll down to your steam folder. You want to scroll down to steam apps and then go to common. And you're going to want to find the game you want to make in windows mode. Again, it could be any game from steam, but I'm going to just show off Sonic generations today. As this is the most common game most people will have an issue with, and you're gonna to want to choose the Sonic Generations EXE, you know, the actual folder file. So uh, you're gonna open that, and now you have there. Now what you want to do is, I guess, copy me, I guess, because these are normally the resolution I use, which is 1280 by 720. You can make it whatever you want, but typically this is what I make it. And you want to go to uh, video. Make this native because normally that's the only way I make it work. Go to DirectX, make it DirectX 9, and you really don't have to do anything else. That's pretty much it. These are extra things where you can show off, like, you know, if you want VSync, you can turn stuff like that, FPS counter if you'd like. So, some extra things you can do on your own. Now that we have the thing here, when we open the game now, it's actually going to see a WDXWD. And now every time you want to boot up the game, you can now in windowed mode. And I will tell you guys straight up, Ford, I've been using DXWD for almost a year now. And I can tell you from experience that I have never had one issue with uh, this. And as you can see here, 
the game is running fine and you know it's running in windowed mode so this should hopefully allow you to make the game run better and as you can see here the game is still running the same and uh, normally there's not any issues and I don't think there is here but you know here's uh, the example here that we're not getting any issues the game looks fine we're running it in windowed mode obviously one fun fact about this here I'm gonna stop moving here in the game if we actually click out so I'm gonna walk around if we click out the game will freeze and I think there's a setting to turn that off. If you click it back in, there you go, you're back in. So it's a really useful thing you can use if you have a low-end PC because maybe you don't like the game with the freaking low-end mod, I believe is what it's called, so that the game will look a little bit worse just so it can run better. Uh, some people may not want to do that. I think this is a perfect optional thing you could do. Or you can apply the low-end mod with this and this will probably make it run 10 times better. And yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, uh, I guess just leave a subscription if you want to. Uh, dislike if you dislike, like if you do. Um, that is all about for me, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and have some fun with this application.